Next, let's talk about working with B-roll and how you're gonna import stock footage into your projects. I'll start by importing my B-roll and I'll do that by clicking the import button here in the media bin. And then I'll select clip two, three, and four. With those selected, I'll click the open button here. And you'll see those clips appear here in the media bin. Next, we'll want to take the B-roll footage and put it on top of the narration. So we'll consider clip one, the narration, because that's where all of the talking in the video is occurring, but we want our viewer to actually see the things that we're talking about. So with all three of these clips highlighted, I'm going to simply drag them on top of the existing footage. And as I let go, you'll see it creates a brand new track on top of the pre-existing footage. And now I essentially have two layers of footage. I have my top layer, which is my B-roll footage, and then I have my bottom layer, which is my talking head narration footage. You can see these layers or tracks indicated here on the left-hand side. So if I hit the lock button, it's going to lock the track so that way I can't touch it anymore. If I click the eyeball, it's going to hide all of the footage on that track. And if I click the audio icon here, it will mute all of the audio on the track. Now I'll undo the changes here. I wanna be able to see the footage on the track and I do want to be able to edit the footage on the track. So I'll unlock it. 